So these are two uh, Makuni style carbs. Uh, this one is an actual Makuni that came on this $900 race engine that I bought. And I thought when this one wouldn't start, it was 20 to other things. Uh, we actually fixed the coil, still wouldn't start. So we put the Nibby carb on it, runs great. Second pull, starts right up. All I had to do was adjust the idle. Runs awesome. So then I get this Makuni with the race engine. This one came on the ghost, couldn't get that piece of shit to work either. So I took this as a brand new carb, cleaned it out, all that stuff, okay? Cannot get this son of a bitch to run to save my life. I bolt on a nibby carb, second pull, bam, running like a champ. Idle is super easy to adjust right there, choke is super easy up, down, and it looks badass. I just, I fucking had it with these crap carbs. You know what I mean? I bought this engine. I paid that kind of money rather than building one in hopes, because I had so many problems with this one, that the son of a bitch would run when I pulled the damn cord. And it didn't. So I had to spend another fucking, like, almost $100. So now I'm into this engine damn near a grand just to get it to run. But now it runs... It runs hard as hell. I mean, it is a lot of power. I'm actually under geared. I'm running a 1253, and I could probably jump that front up to 15. It's got that much power. So, um, yeah. This, <laughs> this is a Cerakoted pipe. I spent three days Cerakoting this thing, but the Cerakote exhaust header coating, the C-Class, is not enough for this. This gets way too hot and moves too much, and the Cerakote literally jumps off when it cools down. It cracks and then pops off. So I thought I'd have this dope-ass white and red pipe, you know. No. So I'm probably just going to wrap it up to this end and leave that tip like that. So, you know, that's where we're at. But now it runs freaking great. I mean, she's sitting idle 1,400 like nothing. So, Nibby Carb for the win.